As night comes on the second day of violence, protesters use homemade rockets to try and seize Bangkok's government house. And then a bulldozer's brought in to try and break through barricades protecting the Prime Minister's offices. It would be the ultimate prize for these anti-government demonstrators, desperate to topple the seat of power. All day, police have held firm, firing tear gas and rubber bullets into the crowd. What's happening here is that the protesters have managed to commandeer a couple of vehicles, even a police van. They're tying a cable to the back of the van, a grappling hook is then going over the cement barriers, and they're trying to pull the wall down. Many have been injured in the clashes, but they're not deterred. Thailand likes to project a peaceful image, but has been rocked with violence in recent years. In a TV address, Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat says she's rejected the protesters' demands to seize power. It doesn't mean that we say no, we reject or we cross the option of the negotiation. But this negotiation, we don't know how to make it happen. So that's why we request all the people who know this, how we can make it happen. So we open every door, every time for negotiation to make the peaceful and with the majority needs of the people of Thailand. In the middle of the day's violence, we witnessed a brief truce. Protesters putting down rocks to wave at police. A surreal moment in an uneasy battle which shows little sign of easing, but rather is stuck in a stalemate. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Bangkok.